Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. I'm Kim, I'm a celebrity stylist, and today I have a special treat for you because my own personal makeup artist, Jenny, is here with us today because I needed help. I'm really not a makeup person. Jenny does my makeup all the time, and I wanted to talk about vacation. Makeup on vacation. I always ask Jenny to give me five tips. Today she found her way around it because clearly this is not five pieces of makeup. <laughs> Jenny's like, I can't do it. So we're gonna talk about five tips for doing your makeup on vacation, right? I love it. That's exactly what we're gonna talk about. And I think it's gonna make a big difference when you're packing and planning your next trip, which I hope is really soon. Yeah, me too. Okay, so five tips. What are the first tip that you can tell everyone? Well, I think the first thing to consider is you might not wanna to stray too much from your normal makeup routine, so that's fine. But I think considering what you can add an element of waterproofing to Ooh, would be good one. a good ticket because then you're not going to go to the beach looking and feeling all fabulous. And then I don't know if you've seen any videos of girls coming out of the water yeah. and like their false lashes like hanging off on a thread or, <gasps> you know, yeah, black smears underneath the eyes. Suddenly you went from a 10 to like, oh, I don't know. We don't want to, we don't even want to put a level to on like it. To like just but. sub 10. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we like to stay positive here at Secrets of a Stylist. So let's, but you know what? Actually, waterproof is a great idea because I, you know, when I'm on vacation, I'm like, oh, I don't really want to wear makeup. I don't wear a lot of makeup. But often I will actually do a line of eyeliner. Yes. And I actually never thought of doing waterproof. I don't yes. know why. Yes. Cool. So a couple of my favorite brands, Makeup Forever is really an artistry brand, it's a pro brand. You can get it at Sephora, you can get it probably in the town that you live in. However, they often are used for, well, I- Like swimwear well, shoots. Yeah, yeah. like swimwear shoots, um, Cirque du Soleil. So they are always innovating their line. Their brand new set of eyeliners is called uh, Aqua XL. So anything with Aqua in it, guess what? It's gonna be waterproof. Perfect, So that's I love beautiful, it. comes in an array of colors. Um, the Sephora brand. When you see anything with lettering that shows waterproof, that's what you're looking for. Easy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you want to sit on your phone in the store and Google, is this waterproof? If it is a benefit, they're going to label it and tell you about it. Of so, course they are. Yeah. They're going to be like, you need to buy the waterproof yes, and yes. the non-waterproof. But here's the thing. Okay, so I talk to my clients and they go, but I don't like waterproof because it's, it's, um, it's hard to get off. I feel like I tear out my eyelashes or it just, you and? know, I go through so much cleanser. So when you go through the Express Beauty Bar, um, usually at whatever, you yeah. know, boutique you're, shoop, you're shopping at. Shooping? Shooping. You can, can shoop. Can we go shoop? We're going to go shoop Let's Sephora. Let's shoop. <laughs> We've gone shooping and let me take a look at this. Okay. Okay. Makeup Forever Waterproof Eye Cleanser. Sans eyes. Yes. It comes in a big juicy bottle, but you can also get the small bottles and this is perfect because I, one of my recommendations will also be take your favorite products, go to the dollar store, get smaller uh, containers, yeah. and pare it down. Got it. Question. Yes. Uh, what about the girls that have eyelash extensions? Because I know there's a lot of girls out there that have them. Can they use this uh, remover? Yes, they can. Um, just use it with a makeup Q-tip. So bring a couple makeup Q-tips with you and your gear. They're cool. really precision based and you can get in there and not fuss with your lashes Got too it. much. Okay, so when you go on vacation, chances are you're going somewhere. You're not gonna go somewhere where there's like no sun and you're gonna come out paler in the end. Mm. Usually you're gonna go and you're gonna get kissed by the sun. So my recommendation is consider the fact you're probably gonna wind up darker at the end of your vacation mm. than you started. So you wanna bring something with you such as a waterproof bronzer. So Cargo has I don't the- I even know those exist. Yes, That's yes, yes. Crazy. I know, technology is awesome. So Cargo is one of my favorite brands for this. They have a whole swimmables line. They're eyeliners, blushes, uh, bronzers. So that's a really good tip because then again, you're not going to get all smudgy and smeary and blotchy. I never even heard of a swimmables line. Like mm -hmm. I never heard of that. Okay, cool. So what you can do with this is you can cheat. And so, you know, if you've gone ah. for a spray tan but maybe didn't get your face done, right? then you can kind of swish it around. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really good tip. I like that. Okay, question for you. Because yes. when I go on vacation, I will often wear a, um, a sunscreen that's tinted. Yes. So I'd put that on first and then I would dust this yes. bronzer with waterproof on top. Yes. Oh, I love it. My other thing I was going to suggest is you don't want to pack maybe your foundation routine or whatever it is that you're normally bringing. Um, a beautiful product and choice for you 
is the Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS. Ooh. I'm a NARS fan. I love NARS very much. Uh, we have a strong relationship. And what I would do with this is because it has great coverage, maybe you have a little stubborn spot with bare skin. I would recommend maybe taking your sunscreen oh. or your... Um, cream? Yeah, whatever oh. cream products you have and making your own. That's a great idea. Yes. And then what's going to happen there is you're going to be able to control your coverage and you're going to look flawless and gorgeous without too much effort and not feeling heavy at all. That's I, the tip. I never even thought of that. So you can take your own sunscreen that you use all the time, squirt it in your hand, and add some of your concealer. Yes. Ooh, yes. that's even better. Yes. It's a great tip. I thought so. Great tip. I'm feeling kind of brilliant. I love that tip. Okay. She's brilliant. <laughs> You're brilliant. Otherwise, we wouldn't be together. Okay. So tip number four, we want to pack light. Right. What Packing light. So multi-purpose things. What I find when I go on vacation is often mm -hmm. I can't find a mirror. So I'm like scrambling around and, you know, there's in the bathroom or whatever. But there isn't a mirror that you can take to find good light. Oh, yeah. So I feel like portable palettes cool. that have highlighter, bronzer, blush, and a mirror. Wow. You can set this up, you know. I never thought wherever. of that either. Yeah. I've never thought of any of these things. <laughs> so this is super cool. Yeah. Okay. If you want to have a bold lipstick color, which I totally recommend doing, because you know you're going to go out one night and you're going to be wanting to feel extra sassy. So with your designer colors, what I would say is if you have a little pot, don't be scared to shave off the ah, tip. Ah, that's a great tip. So then who cares if they lose your bag? Who cares if it melts? Who cares? Whatever. You're not out because you still have your gorgeous little baby at home. I have one more question yep. before you go into that. I see these little, now I'm adding to her. She tried to be <laughs> concise and I'm adding. I see these lip conditioners and I find, I just wanted to add to that because you know when you wear red, if you have dry lips, it's like really not going to look good because it oh, kind of yeah. flakes off. Yes. So I'm guessing, uh, maybe those were just out there because we use them, but yeah. Lip conditioner, a good idea before the red? I absolutely brought out the lip conditioner oh. because when we go to new climates, a lot of times our skin goes through weirdness yeah. because we're adapting to a new climate. And so lips can be the first thing to take a hit. Oh, always. So I really want to encourage you, make sure you're bringing something that's going to moisturize your lips yeah. and help them. Even if that's the only thing you're wearing, I feel like you're going to feel yeah. better, photograph better and, you know, Protect That's yourself. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I love it. So thank you for being with us, and I really appreciate you giving us these tips. And My actually, pleasure. We did stick it down. We, we did narrow it down, and these are things actually I've never thought of. Maybe you guys have, but I haven't. So anyway, I hope that you guys liked it. Just remember to hit the subscribe button down below if you like this and you can see Do more it. tips and I will show up in your mailbox. Occasionally I'll show up in your mailbox with my favorite makeup artist, Jenny. And we talk about many different things. I always talk about style and give a thumbs up if you like it. And I will see you next Thursday and we will talk about something else that's awesome. Bye. See ya.